yes welcome to sai meda so now let us we discuss about crystal structure for metallic elements crystal structure for metallic elements so here uh generally uh, in the metals the crystallic structure is uh, generally it is symmetrical symmetrical in the sense even if we interchange this so it cannot be changed we interchange that uh, it cannot be changed so here let us we see there are uh, uh, we have three kinds of structures are there so one is body center cubic structure and another one is face center cubic structure and another one is hexagonal closed packed structure hexagonal closed pack structure so first let us we see body center cubic structure the name itself indicates that the body is centered in the cubic structure that means the atoms are located at all corners of the cube and one atom is its center is located at its center this type of unit cell is found in metals like lithium sodium potassium and barium vanadium molybdenum etc so in such kind of things we can observe body center cubic structure i will show how it is ah huh. so this is like that that means every corner may have the yes at all corners atoms are there along with that one center the center of the cube so an atom is there so this kind of things is called body center cubic structure next face center cubic structure yes here the atoms are located at the corners of the cube but one atom is located at the center of the each face center of the each face suppose for example this is the cube so here uh, at all corners we have the atoms like this all corners we have the atom and along that at each face center we have the atom like this that means if i take this is one the center in the sense this portion that will be the atom so here the center of face 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 center of like that at center of face so we have the atom and we will calculate how many atoms will be there we will calculate it later next this will be hexagonal closed pack structure and here also the same pattern we can follow that is the unit cell has an atom at each of the 12 corners of the hexagonal prism this is hexagonal prism and one atom at the center of each of the two hexagonal faces and three atoms in the body of the cell this type of unit cell is found in metals like zinc lithium and magnesium beryllium etc and here you can see at each corner at each corner we have the atoms can we have that and each of the two hexagonal faces each of the two hexagonal faces and three atoms in the body of the cell next what do you mean by crystal symmetry crystal symmetry in the sense generally what is the property of symmetry symmetry in the sense suppose for example if i write 1 2 3 4 5 6 or i can say a b c b c d e e f like that if i have the matrix like this and if i write this as rows that is a b c and this as col uh, column b c that means there is no change in the structure row is a b c column is a b c here row is uh, uh, b d e here the column is also b d e here the row is c e f and column is also c e f that means there is no change so then we can say this uh, this is the symmetry property of that matrix like that and here also what is the symmetry property here in the sense 
symmetry property in the same just you see here the symmetry of crystal is the characteristics of crystal so which indicates that if the parts of an ideal crystal are interchanged the result produced is just like original crystal that means there is no change in the crystal structure here as we have the matrix that is one a b c a b c like that here also there is no change in the original position the same thing we have the different ways uh, in which the symmetry of crystal can be specified and combined together is known as symmetry class symmetry class symmetry class in the sense so different ways in which the symmetry of a crystal is specified that means i can say rows and columns are interchange there is no change one row is interchange there is no change and two columns are interchange there is no change if i do like that so then i can say i can say that it has the symmetry class like that symmetry class and symmetry result from one order arrangements of atom ions molecules in the internal structure of the crystal symmetry of a crystal is determined by the position of the similar faces edges etc ah yes here what we can say in the sense the symmetry results from the order of arrangements of atoms that means we know 12 atoms are there or 14 atoms are there and 16 atoms are there in one crystal like that but we don't know so where that atoms are has to be located so where atom 1 is to be located where atom n has to be located that can be determined or that can be <coughs> frame by using this concept so just you see a crystal is said to have a simple form if its all faces are similar if all faces are similar then we say it is a simple form simple form simple form in the sense all faces are similar next for example cube octahedron and the faces of a cube are identical squares while the faces of a octahedron are identical triangles identical triangles will be there and the combination form a crystal is said to have a combination form when it has a set of faces corresponding with a two or more simple form two or more simple form <coughs> yes next the fundamental symmetry elements are as follows so what are the fundamental symmetry elements one is plane of symmetry and second one is axis of symmetry axis of symmetry like this so first one what is plane of symmetry in the sense ha ah, just you see here plane of symmetry in the sense in one plane if i draw the crystal so that divides the crystal into two similar and similarly faced halves when one half of the crystal is the reflection of the other half one half is the reflection of the other half the plane of symmetry of crystal also contains its center there are nine planes of symmetry in the cube there are nine this is important there are nine planes of symmetry in the cube there are nine planes of symmetry in the cube okay so what do you mean by plane of symmetry if i take the plane if i take if i uh, uh, take the crystal and if i draw the crystal in the uh, one uh, surface like this so that can divides if i take the midpoint that can divide the two uh, entire crystal into two halves and two halves in the sense one is uh, similar to the other like that one has to be similar to the other like that and this can also having the center so there uh, there are nine uh, planes of symmetry in the cube next axis of symmetry is yes, what do you mean by axis of symmetry axis of symmetry that means suppose for example i have the image like this and if i take this is the axis then i can say however the shape is here the same shape i can observe here also can observe here also that is this image and this image these two images are same and these two images are similar these two images are identical then such kind of things are called axis of symmetry 
axis of symmetry suppose for example in uh, it is an imaginary line through the center of the crystal about which the crystal may be rotated so that it present exactly the same appearance more than once in the course of a complete revolution complete revolution and that means if i rotate this for one revolution so after one revolution i have the same structure and again after one revolution i have the same structure but the rotation so at particular angle that is important so in general if a rotation of 360 degrees by n around an axis brings the figure into um, coincides then the axis is n fold axis of the symmetry n fold axis of the symmetry thus if a crystal is brought into coincidence with the initial positions on rotation through 180 degrees or 120 degrees 90 degrees 60 degrees about an axis the axis of rotation or axis of symmetry are 2 3 4 6 fold axis 2 3 4 6 fold axis because 180 degrees in the sense 360 by 2 and 120 degrees in the sense 360 by 3 that means n is 2 3 like this ah uh, 4 in the sense that is 90 in the sense 360 by 4 like this and 60 in the sense like this Okay. so here the denominator indicates number of folds that is fold axis okay yes okay one point is there i forgot it yeah so uh, see this uh, it is found that Yeah, it is found that the crystal and solid show only one, two, three, four, and six-fold symmetry. They do not show the five-fold or any symmetry axis higher than six. Only one, two, three, four, six-fold symmetry will be there. There is no five, and there is no more than six-fold symmetry. There is no more than six-fold symmetry. yeah center of symmetry yes the third one is center of symmetry yes what do you mean by center of symmetry that is if i take one point so based on that point the crystal structure is symmetrical about the plane so crystal structure is symmetrical so see this the center of symmetry is a point such that any line drawn through it will intersect at the same surface of the crystal at equal distances on either side so either side a crystal may have one or more planes and one or more axes one or more planes or one or more axes of symmetry but never more than one center of symmetry never more than one center of symmetry in fact many crystals are not center symmetrical since they develop differently at opposite ends okay <clears throat> yes we will see one more thing what do you mean by coordination number as yes, coordination number yes what is coordination number it is defined as the number of nearest atoms the number of nearest atoms which are directly surrounding given atom so that means coordinate suppose for example this is one atom how many atoms are nearest to that atom in surroundings that given atom so let us consider some cases so the first case is simple cubic structure yes c structure simple cubic structure so simple cubic structure in the sense so there are six atoms one at each corner of the unit cell ha huh. any corner atom has four nearest neighbor see that any corner atom has four nearest neighbors in the same plane plus two nearest atoms neighbors are exactly above and other exactly below that corners atom so giving a total six nearest neighboring atoms thus the coordination number yes is simple structure 
simple cubic structure is 6 that means i can say this i can draw cube like this this i can draw cube like this Uh, this I can draw cube like. So there are uh, atoms at each corner of the unit cell. That is, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this. Okay. So next. Yes, any corner atom has four nearest neighbors in the same plane. Just means, here if I take this one. If I take this one, take this one. So on the same plane, you can observe that the four atoms are there. Four atoms are there. Next. And giving uh, four atoms, atoms are there. And uh, the two near neighboring atoms are exactly above and exactly below the corner atom. Yes, exactly above. This is above like this. And here this may be below like this. And totally you can observe six atoms will be there. The total number of atoms will be six. Okay. Next, second one is <coughs> body center cubic structure. Yeah, body, center, cubic structure. So here, there are eight atoms. There are eight atoms. One each at the corners of the unit cell and one atom is at the center of the cube. One at each corners of the unit cell. Eight atoms, one... And for, for any corner atom for, of the unit cell, the nearest atoms are the body center atoms and the corresponding to each corner atom, the unit cell. So there are eight unit cells in the neighbor. There are eight unit cells in the neighbor, so which are having eight body centers. So thus, the coordination number of BCC is eight only. Coordination number of BCC is 8 because it is body center cubic structure. In body center cubic structure, we have the how many atoms are there? How many uh, structures are there? How many body centers are there? 8 body centers are there. 8 body centers are there. So, therefore, what we can say? 8 body centers can have the 8 neighboring atoms. So, therefore, we can say BCC structure is 8. The coordination number of BCC structure is 8. Next, to phase center cubic structure. I will show all these things later. So, phase center cubic structure. So, the coordination number of such structure is 12. Such structure is 12. So, hence, the nearest neighboring atom of any corner atom are the phase center atoms of the surrounding unit cells. 